So you've heard about management consulting, but you don't know what it actually is. Well, you're not alone. Hi, my name's Amar and I'm a strategy consultant based in London and I work at one of the big four consulting firms. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what management consulting is, the value it provides, and the different types of management consulting that there are. To contextualize this, I'm going to be using an example using a pizza chain called Franco Manco, which is popular in the UK. So what is management consulting? Consulting is the act of giving expert advice in a professional setting in exchange for a fee. Management consulting is an umbrella term which covers a range of services. The idea is for management consulting firms to provide expert advice to businesses and organizations to help improve their performances and help their business run better. The most common management consulting services that you'll come across are, but not limited to, strategy consulting, technology consulting, operations consulting, HR consulting, and financial consulting. There's quite a breadth of services that management consulting covers, but those are the five main ones. I'll run through them in a bit more detail, but for now, let's move on to what value management consultants actually bring and why they're actually needed. So why do businesses actually need management consultants? Why can't they do this on their own? Businesses and organizations often have problems and there's three reasons preventing them from solving them. One is a lack of time, two is a lack of expertise, and three is because it's actually cost effective to bring in consultants. Let's look at lack of time. Leaders are often tied up in their day-to-day -day jobs, so that they don't have the time to be able to spend on thinking and solving these problems. Their teams are also in similar situations. Then there's lack of expertise. They might have the time, but not the expertise to be able to solve the problem or to be able to act on a new growth opportunity. And so management consultants can help by having the skills and expertise through their resources and the people within their firms who are able to do this job quicker. Management consultants also have the benefits of working with lots of other businesses, and that's really useful. And number three, costs. If you have a specific business problem, it's, it's not cost effective to hire a full team where they help with one, one, one project or one job and then they're not needed for the rest of the time and then they'll be sitting idle. That's where management consultants can be helpful because although this, they might be scrutinized sometimes for having hefty fees, they're able to be contracted for a temporary period and on a project-based basis. The reason why the term management consulting can be so confusing is because it covers such a wide range of careers and jobs. So now you know why we need management consultants, we're gonna look back at those types of management consultants that you can get. Strategy consulting looks at the big pictures and it helps leaders in the business on making high level decisions that can help them reach their long-term objectives and goals. They advise on many things such as corporate strategies, organizational strategies, they can look at market entries, product portfolios, and pricing strategies. Technology consulting can also be referred to as IT consulting or digital consulting, they're quite interchangeable. This can vary from elevating the human experiences to thinking about how to connect with customers digitally. It, it can also be about how to implement new tech systems into a business that they're not familiar with themselves. Financial consultants can help clients improve their internal finances. They can sometimes work with the CFO and their team, looking at ways to optimize their financial statements, looking at things like budgeting, forecasting, and there's modeling involved, and looking at how to meet shareholder expectations. When you think of HR consulting, think about people. It's about how to make the most of the people within an organization, whether it's about an organization organizational redesign, whether it's about change management, perhaps there's a huge merger that's happening and that might affect how the people are going to be. And so that's going to be quite a culture shock. And then there's operational consultants who advise on, well, operations. It could be within a business function, it could be the whole organization, but it's about improving processes and setting up systems that can help improve the business performance and help the business run better. As I mentioned, I want to contextualize this with an example. So we're going to use Franco Manco pizza chain that started in 2008 and has grown massively across the UK. So let's give them a fictional problem. Franco Manco has been quite successful in the UK, but they're now looking to expand into different markets. Markets meaning different countries, increase their customer outreach, be able to be able to boost their revenues and also think about diversifying their product portfolio. So how can a management consulting firm help Franco Manca? In this example, we're going to assume that Franco Manca hire a consulting firm called Spicy Strategists. Unlike in the industry, consultants work on a project by project basis. Spicy Strategists would then agree an approach with Franco Manca that they would run over a project. So let's dive into the detail of what they actually do. Let's say that the approach that's agreed upon in this project will follow what I call the three Ds, discovery, design and deliver. In the discovery phase, it's about what are the existing challenges and what are the available options. 
the team will be looking at validating hypotheses both made by the business and themselves to see if they're actually true. In the design phase, the team will start to look at building the recommendations and building the different options that are available. They'll start to look at different considerations to see if if each opportunity is quite attractive, whether it's feasible, meaning if it looks great, are we able to do it? And so in this phase, they'll start to hold like working sessions. So like we call them workshops. And essentially the idea is in these sessions, they start to work with some of Frank and Manka's stakeholders, stakeholders meaning people that are working in the business and experts who might be able to validate whether some options are feasible and where there are lots of risks. And then there's the final phase and that's the deliver phase. In this phase, the team would look to present their recommendations back to the, the leadership within Franco Manca. They'll identify what those opportunities are, what the considerations and risks are. With this as well, they'll start to look at an action plan for what are the next steps rather than just finishing there. So there you have it. Management consulting is essentially advising businesses and organizations on how to improve their businesses and help them run better. This fictional example of Franco Manca is just one example, but there's lots of businesses and organizations every day using management consulting services and trying to solve different problems. And the need for management consulting is to be able to support businesses in an ever-changing digital, social, economical and environmental landscape is quite important. But that also makes it a really attractive career prospect because there's a lot of stimulating problems that need solving. And to be a part of that and to be working on that is great for your skill development should you choose to follow a career in management consulting. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions that you want answering in future videos, please drop them in the comments. And until then, see you next time.